have I ever lied? Sure. Once in fourth grade, I pretended I wasn't afraid of ghosts. But I was. I pushed past it. I'm only human. But DJI committed what I think is a little more than a white lie, my friend. And we discuss it today. Why I went with the GoPro 8 over the DJI Osmo Action. I know people are afraid. <laughs> Not that afraid. I know some of you photographers are tired of hearing about the action cams, but I just have to warn people. This is the final conclusion, and it'll be short and sweet when we discover love together. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So I ended up buying the GoPro 8, my first camera purchase in a real long time. And I tested the DJI Osmo Action, and I actually preferred it in many ways. It had the front face and screen, I liked that. The colors were more natural. That's what I want. I don't want this fake Barbie skin. Look what happens when I don't grade it. Oh, what? What is this? So I have to like pull things down. I don't want to pull my pants down in public, but there's one problem with the DJI that nobody seems to be talking about. I don't see it in any review. I watched hundreds, probably not, maybe 15 reviews on that thing. And nobody's saying anything about this, but when I see the footage myself, I see it now. I see it very clearly, and DJI marketed this for vloggers with that front face and screen. All their marketing promotional material had people like, oh, look at me, Stacy. Oh my God. Stacy, you're a bitch. I just hate dishonesty so much. Is this cinematic? It is, trust me. This is cinema. What movie are we watching? Arachnophobia. Oh no, oh no. There's nothing worse than a pathological liar. Someone you can't trust. I had a friend once. We were doing a window cleaning job and he was getting paid for us. And so we met up with the boss. I'm sitting in the back seat. Boss is in the driver's seat. He's in the passenger seat. And the boss hands him the check for our work that we're supposed to split. And I saw it. I was in the back. I was like, oh, wow, look at that. So I asked him, how much? How much did we get, buddy? And he says, 2000 I'm like, oh. The check said 2500 I saw it. He's like, oh. You, is there a water drop right on the lens? Oh, it's not even raining. How does that... Is it raining? Is that how we tell? Oh, it is raining. That better not have ruined my shot. My scene over there in arachnophobia, I'm gonna send that to Spielberg. So DJI marketing this to vloggers. How long are vloggers' arms supposed to be DJI? That's what I ask you. The closest focusing distance of the DJI is like four meters. No, one and a half meters, four feet. From what I, and there's no definable answer here. They won't say it themselves. I just, I heard some tech radar review. They're like, it's 1.5 meters. Like we tested it. It's like, I've tested it too. And it ain't in focus with an arm's reach. This camera right now is about max, a foot and a half, two feet maybe from my face, from my nose. That's where I focus all my attention, my nostrils. That's where I get my power. I'm like a witch. So even though DJI had the more pleasing camera overall to use, and I preferred the look so much better, I was never in focus. And that's a lie. You market to vloggers, and we can't even reach ourselves. So even though I'm flying blind on the GoPro, and I can't see a damn thing, at least it worked. At least they were honest. And at least I'm sharp. And in the rule of thirds, at all times. Kind of. Maybe. Take that, super freak. Take that. Yeah, that's right. Now we're ruling hard. We are ruling hard. The corner sharpness, pretty preferable, I must say. Am I still in the shot? I can't tell. Oh, DJI, where are you? So that one lie, now I can't trust DJI in any future release. It's like, they're gonna make the next perfect vlogging camera. It's like, oh, it won't focus on your face. Did you want that? You wanted, oh, well that's weird. We should have had a meeting about that. All right, fellas, remember that time GoPro tried to make a drone? We crushed them. We crushed their spirits. It was fun. I like those times. What should we kill them at next? Well, I think GoPro also makes action cameras. We could make one. Maybe deter them off the rails. But they have the Surfer Boy cult community all wrapped up. How are we gonna snatch them away? We need to be different. 
what if we market it to vloggers? Hear me out. I know it's a diminishing community of terrorists, egotistical maniacs, but there's a lot of them. Oh my god, James. Do you realize what you've done? What'd I do? You just made the best camera for vloggers ever made. Unbelievable. What kind of features do you want on it, James? We should definitely put a flippy screen on it. I don't know how we're gonna make a front facing screen. It's already on the front. It's smaller, but they just need a little bit. We'll give it to them. I'm inspired. I'm gonna have sex with my wife tonight. It's not gonna last long. She knows that though. Okay, we'll put a mic on the front so it'll pick up their voices perfectly. The focus will be all here. James, people are a lot taller than you're giving them credit for. They vlog, but they're like up here. They're way up there, so let's put the mic on the top and extend the focus. Maybe, how long are kids' arms now? 14 feet? I doubt it. it just, they're about here, so maybe a foot. So we'll keep the focus at one foot, ideally. It's a valid point, but we will be quadrupling that for reasons disclosed at another time. So like all other camera companies, they market to vloggers, but they don't actually interview any of us to find out what we need. They just pretend. The Sony a6400 with no stabilization and a flip-up screen that would be blocked by the microphone. Vlog heaven. The real problem is all these cameras are designed for photographers. The bane of our life. The sewer-dwelling rat children. We need some companies to start designing cameras for vlogging, and that's what I think the GoPro 8 is. With the media mods, we'll see what happens when they come out, if they ever come out. They're likely a unicorn myth. But if they ever do, it seems like they're trying. And so far from what I've seen, we got some stuff. We got some stuff to make fun vlogs here. I haven't displayed any of it today, but in other vlogs it might happen. So let me know your thoughts. Did you go foolishly with the DJI and you're out of focus, you don't even realize it? You're softer than a bunny. It's kind of flattering, but it was irritating to see it. Every video it's like, ah, I'm not in focus. Everything back there is. And that's cool, but it reminded me too much of my Sony glue sensor child. Oh, there's a squirrel. Hey, buddy. Hey, little buddy. Oh, God damn. He thought I was a criminal. I always have hazelnuts in my back for on quick release. So, we're done. Thanks for watching. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt and subscribing for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.